Hi everybody, my name is Matt Carlson and I'm here with Alex Echo and today we are here for Frontier Wrestling. The tentative lineup for Frontier is going to be Wyatt Fitch at 106, Ovidio Cheetah at 113, Brady Finch at 120, Avery Puddle at 132, Dick Madden at 138, Eric Fitch McMillan at 145, Dylan Camp at 152, Eric Cruz at 170, Nate Austin at 195, and Jackie Bond at 280. And for Granby, we have Oliveri Jake at 106, we have Emmett Siebert at 113, we have Cody Laramie at 120, Ben Pickett at 136, Christian Perez at 132, Abram Speak at 138, Gavin Gilbert at 152, Alexis Bodovich at 170, Eddie Glass is at 195, and Isaiah Mihaias at 280. It's going to be a good match today. And we are All right. starting at 106. So here at 106, we have Jake O'Leary and Wyatt Finch. First match of the day. We'll see who can get on the scoreboard first. Today's coverage is sponsored in part by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. So we have the match starting off. It looks like Jake O'Vary. He looks like he has his first takedown. He's fighting for control. He's trying to roll Finch over, get the pin. Finch is in trouble. He's on his back, but he still has the shoulder up. He bellied out. And looks like Finch is on his back. He's in trouble here. And, and there's the pin. The first one to get on the board is Granby with a pin in the first period. Six is uh, for a pin. Yes. Yes. Up next, we're going to have Ovidu against Emmett at the 113 position. Let's see if Frontier can get on the board for the first time. Both wrestlers, they're tying up. Emma goes in for the shot. Ovidu has the leg. And its shot still hasn't paid off. Looks like Ovidu has control now. Still no points. He has been a front headlock. And he hits the cement job. He's in trouble. Emmett's on his back. He kicks out. Still no points. There's Ovidu's trying to crank him over with that half, half Nelson and sink in the pin. He's got one shoulder down. But it looks like Seabird is still fighting. Only one shoulder down. Very close to a pin. And there's the pin. There's a minute and 11 seconds left that he could have held out. And now Frontier is on the board with 50 points. And we have a tie. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, 
great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Both wrestlers tying up in the center of the map. Right. Still fighting for control. Ooh. Oh, Finch ended up on his back, but he rolls through. Getting some nice back points. Oh, he has one shoulder out, but he's holding out. There you go. Third pin of the night. Two for Frontier, one for Grandy. So now we have the 126 spot. Spencer versus Jacob. Both wrestlers tying up. Looks like Spencer wastes no time with front headlock. He's on his back. The grand new wrestler has the front two his legs tied up, but it looks like he still has Spencer still has the control with the head, trying to get the leg off of him. Spencer trying to sink in, only still only has one shoulder down now. Trying to settle in. But Jacob Benson is doing a wonderful job staying off of the mat. And it looks like he's trying to crank him over. Oh, there's the pin. Another quick pin. So There's been three quick pins in a row for Frontier. And all the wins so far for both teams have been by pins. Up next, we're going to have 132. We're going to have Avery Tuttle versus Christian Perez. Tuttle wrestling for Frontier, Perez wrestling for Granby. Both wrestlers. Tuttle fake the shot. Perez didn't bite. Perez goes in for a shot. Tuttle gets front headlock. Goes in for the cement job, but gets stood up. And first takedown. Do nothing, Perez. Gotta be aware of that line. That out of bounds. Get an off the close. And it looks like Perez is trying to get that leg and the neck to crank them over, but Tuttle has a good base belt right now. It looks like he's trying to work his way out of bounds to reset. And they'll be out. And he made it. This match is creeping up on being the longest one of the night. Right? And there's only been 44 seconds. After 16 seconds, it will be the longest one of the night. Avery's going to start in the bottom position, but it looks like he's going to end up right where he was before. Oh, he sits out, tries to get up, but Perez isn't letting him. He just had his leg hook. Oh, and Avery Ooh. ends up on top with the two points. And he's trying to sink in that half. That could have ended very badly. Looks like Perez is sitting out. Tuttle's trying to sink a half Nelson, but he just can't. Perez building to go to the base. 43 seconds left. Tuttle's going to try to pick the ankle. And both wrestlers fighting. Looks like Perez is almost going to get the reversal. And there he gets the two. 25 seconds left in this period. Tuttle could be in trouble. He's on his stomach. Perez is trying to sink the power half. And he might get it here. He just needs a hand hold on for 13 seconds. This might be the first match to go into the second period. And that will be period. Oh. That was a close one. <laughs> he was getting rolled there. All right. So they're going to start in the neutral position to start the second period. It was Frontier's choice. 
And Granby leads this match for the two right now. Both wrestlers circling. Hesitant to tie up again. Total face a shot. Another big shot. Nothing comes of it. And then he goes in for a shot, but he gets caught. He's in trouble. No points, though. And that's two points for, I believe, and Frontier. They're out. But they, Perez works his way out of bounds. And they're going to start back in the middle. Perez will be on the bottom, and Avery will be on top. Perez is going to try to get out quickly here, but... 4-4, four, four, it's tied up this match. We'll see if Toto can break him down. Ooh, he flips out, and that'll be an escape point. Back in the neutral position. Tuttle's faking. So now it's 5-4. Wrestlers are tied up. Toto goes in for a shot, but it's easily fended off. And they're all the like bounds. They're, they're going to have to start over this time in the neutral position. Back yeah, in the middle. You gotta be more aware, I feel like, of that out of bounds line. Well, there's a strategy to it. Sometimes it's better to reset, look for a better opportunity later. If you're in trouble, sometimes it's the best opportunity to work your way out of bounds. Start over in a more even position. <laughs> Looks like Tuttle's trying to snap Perez down or possibly throw him, but they work their way out of bounds and they'll start back over in the middle. And they have 50 seconds left when they start. Right, Perez has wrist control, but still no one's made a move. Both wrestlers look like they're getting tired. They're almost done with the second period here. Avery goes in for a shot, gets a leg. But Perez sits out. No one has control. 30 seconds left in this second period. Tuttle gets the two. Ooh, but he gets rolled. And he's on his back. That's close. And there's the pin. Grammy gets the pin. That, ooh, that, that was so gotta, quick. That gotta hurt when there's 17 seconds left. And you're just a couple seconds left away from... Especially after getting that takedown. Gotta hurt. But so far, every match has been a pin. All pins here. That is the upside to this match so far. FCAT Sports is sponsored in part by Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Now we have Jake Madsen versus Abram Speak wrestling at 138. Both wrestlers killing each other out in the beginning seconds of the match. Tying up briefly. Working over to the outside. Both wrestlers tied up. No one has control quite yet. Setting. Looks like they're trading wrist control. Trading tying up. Matson goes in for the shot, but it's quickly fended off. He pops back up. Both wrestlers are tied up again. They've been tied up for almost a minute now. It looks like the referees. One of them should, should go for it. There you go. There you go. Jake goes in for the shot, but he doesn't get anything. And no one has control yet. It looks like. It looks like Abram is going to get this one, but we'll see. Both wrestlers are fighting. And there's 50 seconds left in this first period. It looks like Abram's got Jake's leg. Oh, he's getting called for locked hands. And I got the reset in the neutral position. With 40 seconds left. Still, still tying up. No one's gotten a takedown yet. Both 
Bulls wrestler is still tied up. Not much is going on. 20 seconds left in the first period. Still nothing. Both wrestlers tied up. Abram tried to snap down, but didn't work. Then they're going to go out of bounds. So it will be starting again with 7.7 .7 seconds left. Both wrestlers in the neutral position. Only 7 seconds left. I think it's time for them to take a chance. There it is. Right off the bat, Matson takes a shot. Abram has his ankle. And, and he's going to get the, the first half. He got the two. Abram got two points right as the buzzer sounded in the first period. That helped him going in the second round a lot. So Grammy's going to get the choice. He They're going to defer to the third period. Madsen's going to choose bottom. He's going to try to get that escape point right off the bat. And even though he's starting on the bottom, if he escape, he can still get that one point. So there is a strategy for starting out on the bottom by your choice. Let's see if he can get out. But it looks like the Abram's going to keep him there. And he's got the, he's got the ankle tied down. He's sitting on his ankle, and he's got the arm. But Jake fights up. He fights up back to the standing position. He gets the escape point. Both wrestlers are still tied up. So it's 1-2. Granby leads with two points. With that buzzer beater takedown in the first period. Looks like uh, Abram snapped down, but Jake gets up quickly. No points. Both wrestlers fighting for race control, fighting for inside control. Not a lot of action. And Abram tried to snap him down, but nothing happened. Nice, he kept him in. Madison's going to try to snap down with the looks like a headlock, but nothing happened. And that will be a minute left in this second period. It looks like the ref called stalling on Grandy. Because you can see that Madsen's been trying to get a snap down, but it looks like the Grammy wrestler has just been kind of backing off of them. Yeah, he does keep still backing off. Up. He fakes a shot, but he doesn't go for it. And there's about 40 seconds left. Abrams get, tries to snap him down again, but nothing's working. Ooh. And Madsen rolls him, but then he gets flipped and ends up on his stomach. Two points to Granby. He gets the takedown. It looks like Madsen tried to step four, in. It will be 4-1 in this match. And Madsen's up again. Almost out. He just has yeah, to break that those wrist. Hands. He has to break that wrist, but he, he got his leg got caught. Abram's still in control. There's 10 seconds left. Looks like Madsen flips there you him, go. Gets, the, gets the reversal. But he just needs to hold him for one second. He could get the... And ooh, he doesn't get it. So it will be 3-4 when they start this third round. One point difference. And now Abram has the choice because he deferred after the first period. The coaches are giving some last second tips. And all right, Abram's going to pick bottom. He's going to try to get out. He gets that escape point. Then he'll be up by a solid two. So and a takedown with Ty. This has been the longest two. match. And it's been the most intense Matt so far. Madsen, Madsen trying to get him in the world to a cradle. No points. All right. Grammy got the reversal. Madsen's on the bottom. He got one shoulder down, but he was bridging up nicely. So he, he's safe. Madsen's bridging. He's still up. Only has one shoulder. Trying to flip him. But it looks like Abrams' weight is keeping him down. Madsen has that knee there. He has his knee and he has his head. That's the perfect cradle position if he can just manage to flip him. You wonder when the ref's going to call stall stalling because they're not moving. It does look like he might be calling stalling soon because neither wrestler is fighting. The bottom wrestler needs to be fighting for a reversal and the top wrestler needs to be fighting for a pin or else they get called for stalling. No one's moving. Like Abram breaks Madsen's grip. And Madsen seems to be letting go on the legs. No, he has him back again. Abram's really squeezing in, trying to sink that pin. But Jake's pushing his head away. He's trying to do anything. 
30 seconds left in the third period. Madison's trying to belly out, but it's Ooh. trying to belly out. Still has only one shoulder down. I mean, this is the most exhausting part of wrestling when you're fighting for your life right here at the very end. He has that head lifted really nicely, so he's not going to be able to bridge. He has to use his entire weight control to keep himself up because his head is completely subdued right here. But Matson has the leg locked, and he's not allowing himself to get turned as they're fighting. And there's the third round. And he survives. That was quite impressive. You really thought, though, that the, Three back points. That the ref would call stalling now. Because well, that took... That, they that were was both more fighting. than 15 seconds. They were both fighting now. And he fights off the pin, which helps his team immensely. But he does still lose the match. So that was great Granby hard comes to great a 9 3 victory for this match. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And there's only a three-point difference between Frontier and Granby as we enter our next match. It's going to be 145, Rierkus McMillan, and it looks like he's about to take a forfeit. Now we're going to have 152. We're going to have Dylan Camp versus Gavin Gilbert. Camp is only a 7th grader, so... 7th grade, that's a tough year to be wrestling because you could be wrestling seniors, especially at the 152 position. Especially at the 152 position. He, but he takes a shot right off. He gets defended, bellied out. Gavin's going to roll over and get the two. He's going for the power half here. We get he sinks it in. Ooh, Camp is on his back, but he doesn't seem to be pinned yet. He's doing a great job trying to fight, but as that settles, he's going to give up the pin. And this is FCAT Sports brought to you in part by Cheslock Market. Great coffee, snacks, and full deli, and a fantastic watch. Specials across from the Colin. Across from the common, in the center of South Deerfield. Huge thank you to these companies for supporting FCAT, make the FCAT sports possible. You know, the kids really do enjoy having their sports games filled because they can watch it and show their parents. All right, and Eric Trusso is going to come out at 160, and it looks like he's about to take a forfeit. That'll be another six for Frontier. And I'll put us at 30 to 21. This is a close match. And Casey Matson's coming out for 170. But it looks like another forfeit. It looks like another forfeit. That, that will not nice. help Granby in the end. Well, overall points I think wise. what they did here is they made a game time decision to have Alexis Bogovich bump up a weight class because Frontier didn't have anybody at 180. And now she's going to take a forfeit. Let's see what's going on. There seems to be some hesitation on the Granby side. Frontier doesn't have a 180, so it looks like both teams are going to trade forfeits. 
So now it will be. So now we have 195 coming out. We have Nate Austin against Eddie Glassy. All right. Nate Austin's a senior. This is his last year of wrestling. All right, both wrestlers meet in the middle, shaking hands, and coming off. Looks like Glass is going to go for the headlock, but Austin isn't going to give it to him, and he ends up getting the two. Now Austin's on top. He has both wrists. He's rolling them over, and he's going to try to get the half Nelson, sinks it in. Ooh, Glass is bridging, and he can't quite settle in, but he did give up both arms. Austin's going to Austin's gonna try to work him over, but he does. It looks like he bellied out there. Austin wasn't able to secure the pin, but he, Austin is going to get three back points. So it will be 5-2 for Frontier. He tries to sink the half in. He's raising the head, and he has the pin. So another six points for Frontier at the Another end. quick pin on the day. It looks like that's been a trend. Oh, it definitely has been a trend tonight. So Frontier is going to go up 42-27. to 27. And we have one... We have one more match. We're going to have Isaiah Mahez versus Jack Bong at 285. The last match of the day. A fun match. But first, I'd like to take a second to thank attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's account moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And last, I'd like to take a second to thank Webb's American Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. So both wrestlers are going to meet in the middle. Last match of the day. Both wrestlers fighting for control. Tying up. This is how all, most heavyweight matches start. And oh, they're out of bounds. Instantly out of bounds. We're going to have to meet back in the middle. With 151 left. Looks like Fong just backed him right out, right out of bounds. Both wrestlers still tied up. Looks like Isaiah has the head. Most of the fight right now is with the hands, too. Jackie's got that elbow. So he has an opening for a possible Russian arm, but we'll see. He's still still tied up, still pushing back and forth. Someone's, looks like someone's looking for a headlock. Or they're looking for a drag. Jackie's going around. He gets the headlock. Jackie has the head. He has the head. Isaiah tries to trip him, but looks like he's going to get the two. Fong's on his back. But he's trying to belly out here. This is, you're in trouble when there's a heavyweight on top of you. Isaiah weighed in at 271 pounds today, so that's a big boy on top of you. So he's trying to fight. Fong is trying to fight out of there. He's trying to hook a leg. He has 55 seconds that he has to survive. And I think that he can do it. He's in a good position here. His weight is completely shifted. And he's, he's basically his almost belly on button, his belly. Too. His belly button is almost on and the mat. And now he has a leg over, over also. It looks like he's successfully bellied out. And he's going to get the, he's gonna get the escape point. And he's trying to get the sink a cement job. But it, Isaiah grabs the leg. Looks like Isaiah's going to get three back points. Jackie got the takedown. Bong's on top. He's so got it'll be Granby five points and Frontier three in this match. And there's about 20 seconds left. Bong's on top. He's looking for the half. Looks like he's going to get it. 14 it, seconds. It, 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 Isaiah's bridging. <laughs> Jackie's so close, and he sinks it in for With nine point. seconds left, that hurts, especially when it's the last match. That hurts. The last match of the day, especially when you had, were so close to that pin, and Jackie fought so hard, and he eventually rolled so out. So Frontier will be coming, winning this match overall. Yeah. Frontier's going to win the match 48-27. Uh, 48-27. to 27. 48 to 27. That, was, that was a good, good day of action. Now we're going to start the exhibition match with So it looks like both teams are going to have a few exhibitions here. And uh, I just wanted to thank all of you guys for tuning in to some FCAT Sports action. This has been Alec Echo and Matt Carlson here in the uh, Good Now Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Have a good night. <laughs>